Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in uh, Google Spreadsheets because we are not quite done with our PCM stats and potential discussion. And I'm not one who usually uh, complains a lot about things when I also at the same time don't have a clue about how to make it better or at least have some well rough rough ideas for that. So um this is, of course, a topic where I very much think that I would be able to do a better job at this than uh, the developers have done. That might seem a little pompous and full of myself, but then again, I mean, that's my it's my day job and I think I'm pretty good at it. So um, what I did is just set sit down and within an hour, I basically came up with um, something that I think would work better for potential and or what well, rather for stat increases in the game as it is and uh, that of course would have a rat's tail of consequences linked to it which we are not going to get into but this system isolated within itself and from our experience that we have had with the game uh, i think this one would work better and i'm going to show it to you and uh, this is kind of a little lesson in game design uh, or well, how how you game mechanics design, I should say, not game necessarily game design itself, although that is a part of it. So in the last episode, I was complaining a lot that um, in the game potential doesn't really mean what it is supposed to, and we were saying that uh, in order to reach a potential, you need time and focus because everything else in that situation was kind of a given resources, grit, and a good teacher. And so what we are going to do today is take a look at my my suggestion model. Uh, no, my, my suggested model. And that is very simple. Basically, it boils down to simplifying the existing model. And I don't know how much of this is actually in the game. And it's just hidden and hidden behind a, uh, like always, a black box. So how does my uh, approach work? Well, let's take a look. There were, I think there's 17 stat increases. I think there were 17 level ups before we switched over to this new, uh, every level up you get a skill point. I think it's 37 is max now, uh, but not every level up you get a stat increase. So let's just say these are the levels with potential stat increases and using the word potential is probably not wise um, because that's not what I mean but um, stat increases all right you have a we now this this is just an example of one stat okay so we have our starting stat we have our potential in the stat and then I've built a model with just these four factors and the formula is we take the difference between the potential and the current stat and add a potential offset, which in this case is one. So that is just so that you actually can reach your potential and not always fall short of it, uh, given enough time and uh, focus, of course. Uh, then we take that to, uh, to the power of an exponent, which can be tuned there. Um, this I found to be a good value, which means that the progression is slightly faster at the start and then it flattens out more. This is basically just so that we can tweak it with the gain factor. So these two work hand in hand in order to give you the progression that we want to see. Uh, I guess as well as uh, this one here. Um, this factor is the focus factor. So I'll change that just for clarity. The focus is your specialization. Um, if you are or not the chosen at the start specialization, but rather the focus of your training. If the focus of your training has a very high overlap with the stat in question, then that would be a one. If it has a very low overlap with the stat in question, it would be a lower number, down to zero even, but uh, probably that should not should never be chosen. Uh, and yes, so that's, that's just these stats. They're combined this way. So it is this difference plus the little offset, everything in there to the power of 0.75 times our gain constant, which is our gain fraction, gain constant. I changed that. All right, our gain constant times the focus factor. Simple. Okay, what does it do? Well, um, it takes the stat, 
calculates the difference to the potential and then gives you an increase value. That is our increase. So now it's even more clear. Yes, stat increase equals that. Um, very simple stuff. But what it does is that you can see that we are, as we are approaching our uh, potential, which in this case is set to 85, it slows down a lot in its progression. And in a way that not every level up you expect to gain a point, but rather in the last, um, like in the last three level ups, you gain one point. It's getting very hard once you approach your potential. Also, this system uh, does require your current stat to be a float value, not within the context of the game, but within this UI that it would, sh would be showing and it would be saved as a float as well. It's very important for that to be the case, for transparency, to break this black box bullshit that is always in the game and also to make more sense of the whole system. And we are getting to that in, in proper examples down below. So. I sat down, it took basically yeah, le less than an hour. This is really quick and easy to do. So um, there's less than an hour work for, for this here and then the rest of like two, two and a half hours to set up the spreadsheet because there is um, there's quite a bit, bit coming in here. So, all right. Um, what we are going to do now is take a look at what I've cooked up for the specializations or rather the focus. There are seven branches you can focus on, seven different foci, as you would say, and that is Baradeur, Stage Races, Climber, Time Trial, Sprinter, Puncher, and Northern Classics. And then if you up your potential, your stats don't increase, so all the focus factors are set to zero. I've just, as pulled out of my ass, chosen a few focus factors um, that seemingly made sense. And I've made sure that uh, they are balanced so that they have the same sum of these factors, excluding Baroudeur because that's a stat that does nothing. So these would have to be balanced in that. It would have to be uh, importance to uh, or the strength, importance strength uh, times that value. And those are summed up and compared. That would balance the game. But let's assume they are all balanced and are all equally important. And that makes this balanced. Uh, that that <laughs> hypothetically makes it balanced. So, for instance, a Baroudeur has the highest flat rating. It has a focus of 1.0. 1.0 is like extreme. Um, stamina, 1.0. Highest stamina also. And we do have, let's if we compare that, for example, to a time trialist, um, pretty high in flat, 0.7. That's pretty high. Not so much in mountain. Here's quite low. Uh, time trial 1, prologue 0.9, not quite as high as time trial, uh, cobble now, nah, don't care, sprint, abysmal, uh, acceleration, awful, downhill, yeah, normal, kind of middle of the road, uh, barode, fuck off, and stamina, not so much, but resistance is through the roof. All right, I think you get the gist of it, and now what I've done here is that we have our potential that we are setting, in here for a rider and the starting stats and then we can choose our level ups so if i choose two that will be stage races if i choose three that will be a focus on climber and so on and it changes the stats accordingly or rather this table is just the focus number so it chooses the focus numbers accordingly and down here it then applies uh, the actual changes uh, to the stats accordingly to the according to these numbers so quite simple that um, but it took a while to set up of course as you remember though this was the last trial in last um, discussion video I built this Baroudeur in the game and just assumed the very very worst potential that we could have so he's a Baroudeur now let's take the simplest case and we're just 17 levels in a row going to focus on Baroudeur everything is set to Baroudeur all the way here we go so what would that mean for the stats here I have them rounded and I think this should be the way to go but let's focus in on that how do we break the black box and how do we make leveling up more of a meaningful experience when you see a zero there because zeros shouldn't be zeros 
if you are gaining a level and your stats increase because you get a, become a better rider, there are very, very few skills in actual real-life cycling that don't have overlap with other skills. Which means that if you increase in one skill, you will also partially increase in other skills. And that is uh, very much missing in the current presentation. It might not be in the underlying mechanics, but it is definitely missing from the presentation of the stats in the game. So let's jump back into the game for a sec and take a look at that, just so that we are clear here. And I think we need to update our stats because these are definitely very different from the, the ones that I had chosen. Maybe I chose a climber? Was it a climber? Yeah, okay, this was a Barodeur climber combination that I chose for the stats that we were seeing in spreadsheet. All right, so of course I can't give you a direct example of a level up now, but um, I, I think we can make this quite clear with what is what is here even. And that is, you have integer numbers as your stats, but if they were uh, floats, which means that the, they have decimal points, then what we could have is that when you are leveling up and you gain a zero, well, not only then a zero, let's, let's see, just in general. When you're leveling up, you have a starting stat uh, that is the integer value, and then you have a bar behind it, or next to it, that fills up according to um, how much of a decimal contribution you have towards the next stat increase. So if you have a uh, 54.7, the bar behind the 54 would be 70% filled. So if you get a level up and you don't gain mountain, you would still see that you have gained mountain, like 0.2 or whatever, or 0.25. So you're almost there and you know, okay, basically whatever I choose next time as I level up, I will gain that stat. That will make planning ahead so much easier. Also, it's much a much better feedback mechanism to the player that tells the player, okay, look, these stats are actually going up. You're not being fucked over by RNG or whatever. So just quick summary. What I would do is make these floats and still have them as integers as they are counted towards your uh, the, the game stats in-game, but have the bar behind them um, have the representation of the the float value the, the remainder and that will give good feedback for the ui to the player um how quickly your stats are increasing and that they are increasing all right let's back to this go back to the spreadsheet all right we are back in the spreadsheet with our example of the border and i have adjusted all the numbers for the potential and the current stats to fit with that rider that we had in game right there. And what I did is to assume the exact middle of that potential range that was given as his actual potential. And now let's assume that this is a super, super simple Bardeur who just Bardeurs all day long. And thusly, he will only ever increase as a Bardeur in his uh, on his way to having uh, the highest flat rating ever um so we do get the potential or not potential the the focus ratings of the baroudeur with high focus and flat and so on let's see how he progresses throughout the levels so we see that oh right let me first explain this um this is the float value this is the rounded value and the flawed value um that it means that it's always rounded down. And then we have the actual stat increase per level up in here. So this means on this first level up, he increased by two in stamina. So if we go through this list, it's not really unexpected, is it? Although with what we are saying about um, having a clear feedback about the fractional gains in levels, this would not nearly be as scary because look at this, like level 10, that is a big level up with loads and loads of stat points. Level 11 almost has none. It's like four compared to how many? What is the sum of this? 11 versus four. <laughs> so you feel kind of screw over, screwed over. And I think this might be what is going on in PCM at the moment. 
um, that they just ignore the uh, showing you that you have increased something in skill, but that has not been enough to jump over to the stat increase. But how are we supposed to know this damn black box? <laughs> so, yeah, there needs to be UI feedback for that. Um, but anyway, this is uh, pretty much as expected, and we are... Ooh, yeah, we are hitting the potential pretty early. And this is something that I... Um, but where you might react to, like, Ah, Kerob, didn't you say that it takes all your life or whatever to get to your potential? Well, yes and no. Let's say you... Um, already have spent a fair amount of time training that and you have a pretty high stat let's say 75 should you then or 77 even like this should you then have still a lifetime of improvements ahead of you before you plateau i don't think so it should come a lot earlier you should be able to hit that but on the other hand if you start if you have massive potential and you start at an abysmally low rating, should you then be able to hit your potential? I would say no, absolutely not. Because it takes time to reach your potential. But yeah, let's go back to our little baroudeur here. And we see that we have uh, stat increases as you would expect. We are plateauing here at level 13. It no longer increases in a flat stat and the same is true for the Bardeur stat. Oh, so important. I wish they made this one actually important. There are so many things you could do with this. Uh, it would be fun. Like how potent attacks are, um, how long your, your red bar lasts, and all that kind of stuff. Or how quickly it re uh, refreshes. Also, that would be like how long, how resistant your red bar is to a little degree and how quickly it refreshes to a large degree. That would be an excellent use for the Baroudeur stat and thus make it pretty important. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we are peaking there. But now look at Mountain. What happened here? This is a large, large difference, right? 54 to 71. Whoa, that's fi what? What? That's 16 points? No, 17 points. That's massive. Let's just copy paste that in here so that we see ugh, the difference is right there. Now we've swapped labels. Um, so yes, so mountain 17 indeed. Large, large difference. You have big potential to grow there, but are you going to use it? Are you going to make use of it by being a baroudeur all your life and only baroudeuring your way through the landscape? Uh, the answer is no. Nah. <laughs> barely reaches 60 points that might of course be a little low but i think this is this is fair because if you're never focusing on that then why why would you now let's make this a little interesting and herr baroudeur here is deciding on i don't want to be a baroudeur anymore and now i'm becoming a climber hmm okay herr sir baroudeur let's let's do that so we become a climber by setting this to three so now we are gaining, uh, now we're training as a climber and let's take a look. So nothing, 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 nothing. Oopsie poopsie. That, that was, uh, you see that here. <laughs> okay. Um, skill gain in mountain on level three, five, eight. That took a while. And now you start training as a climber. Two. Two, one, one, two, one, one. So that is a big, you see this in the color here. It really changes quickly. And I think this is how it should work. Unlike what it currently seems to be doing in Pro Cycling Manager, where your focus is still not really deciding what you are gaining in. If that isn't part of your core identity that you have predetermined right at the start, it's like, you choose that picture and that picture is not allowed to change. And in this system, and I'm proposing here, that is thrown out of the window and the only thing that really counts is what potential you have. And that potential initially is created by that picture you chose. Like we've chosen there that was the uh, just pure baroudeur. Uh, but you could be cho choosing a different combination and so on and that would have different impact on that, on the actual potential stats this also of course means that it naturally works with potential increases now let's say that this baroudeur really wants to become a tour rider a tour rider 
Why would he want to become a tour rider? I don't know. But um, let's say he is training as a Baroudeur his first five levels just to get up that stamina rating, yeah? That's important. And then he decides, nah, I want to become a an actual proper rider, right? Proper rider, not Baroudeuring my way uh, to the top, but rather like this. And then, so potential increase, potential increase. And then we are going with stage races for the rest of his life. And maybe maybe mix in a little climber because it will be will become tough to gain levels in there otherwise. So a little climber here and there. Yes, he is certainly lack, lacking in climber skill. Very good. So now we need to this has not been done automatically, but let's let's take a look here and see what this would be. Be. Um, potential 82. The climber, how much would he gain here? 71. That is abysmally low, so I think that would be a plus 4. It might be a plus 1 in hill. And what other skills would he increase? Uh, I think acceleration 1. Downhill 1. Should be like I'm not talking about what is actually happening in PCM, but what it what it feels like it should happen. Resistance, oh yeah, definitely another plus one and a plus one for recovery. Sounds like a very powerful thing, but I also think that he should gain a negative one for flat and a negative two because that is so. Br Let's see what the uh, what I said the. The climber to Barodeur 0.5. Yeah, that's prob. Nah, let's uh, let's put it at negative one as well. So for the next level up, that means he has 75 there now. Let's turn that up to 78 thereafter. But he loses another point in flat. And at that point, does he gain another hill? I don't think so. Another point in acceleration. Yeah, 75 is not really enough. Another point in downhill. Yes. Another point lost in Barodeur. Another point gained in resistance, yes, but let's say none in recovery anymore. So yeah, this seems reasonable. And now let's see what what happens. This automatically calculates the um, the potential up to that point. We should be able to see that here. It sums up whatever is from going from here to oh, this is is this one too far? This is actually one too far. Kirob, you need to fix your spreadsheets. Oh no, I had uh, I actually looked over there. Yeah, no, this is this is correct. This is correct. For level seven it goes there. Yep, yeah, and it's all good. So um it actually sums those up and gives you the correct one there. So what is happening to this rider now? We said that we are specializing in bar or focusing on Barodeur, 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 up to level five, up the potential, up the potential. No stat increases here. As you see there, and then we switch over to stage races. So what happens to our rider? Well, we have given up the potentially pretty big increases in stats there. But what is happening is now that we are refocusing, and holy shit, are we refocusing? Um, we are now gaining twos here in in climbing all the way, and that is at the cost, of course, uh, of um, flat rating. Um, although, because we were Barodeur at the start, we already had a reasonably high level, so we wouldn't expect um, that high increases anymore. Never reaching our potential in flat. <laughs> we have massive gains in climbing, but as you can see, well, that is not really enough, is it? 72. <laughs> you, you, you started at such a low level that you can't expect to become Hercules on the in the mountains. Uh, hill rating, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, Barodeur never really got there. And this is more like what you would expect to see from someone who refocuses in the middle of, of his... Wow, with such a poor starting value too. Really? 54 is starting? Holy shit, that's bad. <laughs> this is... Un under anything that that seems reasonable of course but um, yeah 54 um, and he made his way up to 72 and that is impressive 
that is above his previous potential that he had a, that he actually started with. Um, but all the other stats also came up. Of course, time trial quite important for that. Oh, of course, we increased our stats as a climber and not as a time trialer or not as a stage racer. So that means that, yeah, Bounton did come up and it tried its best with the whole series of twos there. And recovery also coming up and resistance also important. Ending up at decent stats, but mm, not like a specialized uh, stage racer, is it? Of course, one thing you need to consider here is that this ride that we just made here with this setup was where we chose very good, in air quotes, very good potential. And what I think that what should happen is that, um, or with the current game mechanics in PCM as well, is that for every step along the way for the potential that you choose, like Grand Champion or whatnot, um, that is another plus one to all the stats or specific stats. And um, with that, I believe this makes perfect sense. Does this look to you like the stats of a Bardeur who tried to become a stage racer, but his potential was just not quite there? Would he do well? Like, at the pinnacle of his career? Yeah, I mean, he could win minor tours and stuff, or and win some climbs. He has amazing flat skill, of course, so he would be able to still Bardeur his way through, but, and he is a decent all-rounder. It's pretty good. Um, but does he really compete against the, the best? No, he doesn't. Unlike in PCM at the moment, where that is entirely possible with the how the stats increases work. Not if you're trying to shift focus, but that is due to different reasons. All right, let's try another example. Let's make a... Um, let's make a... rider that we have tried before. Let me introduce you to the good old Dicky Mechspeck. He is a sprinter bardeur who really likes to punch people in the face and uh, is no good at it just yet. Um, so here we have a stark difference in, uh, in skills. Uh, some have big potential to increase, others do not. Now let's... Uh, uh, this is grand champion potential, by the way. Uh, and let's see what happens with these. All right, what I've chosen here is a basic mix of where he wants to go. Sprinter, Bardeur, Puncher. So that combination of those three, and then just repeated it until the very end where it's Puncher, Puncher, Puncher. And um, let's see where his stats are going. So starting at crazy low levels... 53 mountains, 57 hills. Oh, man. <laughs> He's so going to die everywhere. Uh, this is with grand champion potential, of course. Um, so trying to also go off the default path a little bit uh, with the specialization. We can see where if we just choose sprinter where he where he gets at. But um, as you see here, ooh, that, that second level up. Going into Bordeaux, that's looking juicy. Lots of stamina, of course. Uh, quickly, very quickly increasing in the stamina. This is looking great. Also sprint and acceleration, of course, increasing. But also his rating is coming up. And especially whenever... Ooh, that was a nice big two there. Whenever choosing the puncher, uh, that is more or less a guaranteed point there. And you see some big increases here. So, uh, yeah, I think this... If we just look here... This all makes sense. And we end up with a very formidable rider who is definitely not going to win anything in the mountains, but can punch his way through uh, some, some climbs and definitely has legs to sprint. And other than that, yeah, just solid all round. The, the secondaries are a little low. Um, and that is probably something that PCM is actually compensating for through other means, through artificial means. Uh, not just looking at potential, but rather just giving stat bonuses there. Um, or my system just needs to say fuck off and give uh, a higher score to these three secondary stats on average. 
All right, here we have the difference between those two, the, my little mix I made up with uh, three different specializations being trained. And here, just training as a sprinter throughout. And as you can see, uh, yeah, that, it does make sense to um, widen your training a bit, your focus in training a bit, to branch out. Unless you want to get to the absolute pinnacle of things, and that will be 85 sprint, which of course is ridiculously strong. Uh, there is Grandmaster potential, so that's to be expected. But um, this is in my system, of course. In PCM, it's a given that you reach the max stat more or less anyway. Uh, but I think this, uh, this difference is quite interesting. So we are quite formidable in comparison. Yeah? In those other stats, um, Mountain is... Ugh, well, it's still shit, but uh, yeah, and Hill is three points higher. That makes a big difference. Uh, also, stamina is higher, and uh, recovery is higher for the sprinter. Yes, um, we're not sacrificing that much in sprint, but those two last points, of course, as we have said before, should be really hard to attain uh, because that is like absolute top-end world-class thing where you really need to train all your life in order to get it. And that was done as the specialized sprinter, but not when we were mixing things. Anyway, I think this shows um, my my thoughts a little bit better in um, the actual context of stats for the game. And I think with the uh, the ch changes to the UI that would be required and such, uh, this would be a beautiful system to have. No randomization required, really. And I don't think that adds anything to it. Um, I think this is good enough. It gives you really a clear picture of what you're going to do, how it benefits you, and it is intuitive as to what it does because the only thing that is being modified is potential and you yourself then choose your focus in training. I think this should be all now. This should be a pretty beefy video as is. I hope you enjoyed seeing me mock up some uh, some game mechanics for a game that I'm not a developer of. And uh, yeah, let's continue with our Let's Play after this one. So hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>